Okay, so we can start working on the modeling terrain. I do recommend at any point, go ahead and save your work. As you're going forward, you can create a snapshots if you need it, or you just click on there and save. The view by default will save incrementally as well. So if you need to go back, you can always go back to previous version. Okay, now we're going to zoom in, adjust, and from our paint tools, we'll just simply select rise. We don't need three dimensional. One is important to will work. It is with the flow as well. We can work with the radius. So we'll modify some of the settings. Right now, what I want to do, it is a look around and my navigation control, I'm using work to hold alt or option on a Mac key. And you can have it left button or middle button. Middle button allowed me pan left and right. And the left button allowed me to rotate around. As well, I have a scroll button, which is I can zoom in and out. So using those ones, I can kind of manipulate with my position. And what I need to do, it is take my terrain and kind of start raising up. The things when you start raising, you always may have a problem to going too high and going over edge. So what to prevent this, we want to go ahead and enable our show clipping plans. We'll take our top one and we'll bring it all the way down to the level of the house about. So we'll bring just maybe around right here and you can see it's kind of edging. So we know our terrain will go this area. One other things we want to enable right here, click constraint to clipping range. So we'll check on this and now see what's happening. When I model, it is will go just only to this level and won't go higher. It will look flat, but it's okay. We'll fix that flatness a little bit later. But right now I know my terrain right here will be right size and won't go over. So I'm going to add some of this terrain around here. Okay, also let's place it. So this is I'm creating base for my terrain. I'll have a path maybe going this direction again if the from look from camera point of view. Okay, we'll also want to increase something on the back. And let's increase around here. So we can always go increase radius for our brush and just go on the back and increase add kind of right here to our terrain. It will bring a little bit more on the back. I'm increasing on the back because here will go some of our plans. And I want to create place where I can put them. So again, don't worry too much about how flat it is. We'll fix in a second. Right now, most important to create properly raised terrain for us. Okay, let me look right around this area. And this is about from our camera view, around right here. So we'll have a lake, the path will going around towards the camera, probably around here. I need to add a little bit more. As well, we'll have it some water and rocks maybe on the side. For this, we'll go decrease the radius for our brush. And we'll just go increase going pathway towards the camera. Going away. Okay, I think around here. And remember, we need to increase this because we will add water layer. So we want to do that. We'll add here. Let's go to increase again size. At this point, you don't necessarily need to do exactly the same what we're doing at our scenery. However, what you want, it is up to your creative um, view. So you can change how you like it. You can add more details. You can add some hills in the area, but right now, idea of this is just to create 
elements. Okay, right here. And you know what? Maybe with a path, we'll do a little bit different. So because it is showing for me generally where is the path going, but path is usually kind of curve into the ground. So we'll have a right here a little bit hill. It's going down, but right around that area, we need a little bit curve in the path. So we'll do that like okay around here. I think this is look about right. Um, maybe add a little bit more height on that area. Okay, we'll have a nice water and a rocks going. I think this is about right. Okay, so at this point, let's go ahead and click save our work. We'll take our clipping area, move all the way up and disable for now. So now we don't restrain by that clipping area. Now what I want to do, it is add those little bit uneven details to our house. I'm going to reduce my flow and brush size to make it a little bit less. And I'm just going by the edge and you can see just simple clicking, we're adding little bit uneven elements. Okay, rotation. And we'll add to create kind of more like house almost stuck. Okay, as well, we can add more hills around our house. Let's remove some of this on the side here. Okay, maybe on the back, just now add elements of the hills. Okay, let's go zoom out a little bit. The camera position. We have our path, what are we going to go right around there? And we could actually going to a little bit invert. And as a path going, this is okay. We can go slightly down. Just add a little bit more effect to the path. Okay. I think this may work a little bit right here too much. So let's go ahead. As invert, we'll increase brush. And we'll just take a little bit reduce on this size. So when we look up, kind of have a little bit more interesting look to the water. And I think almost path look okay, except we can paint right there, the arrow path. Okay. So let's go click OK on this point. That is our house with the camera. We can take our position, our camera little bit to readjust again eye level and we'll maybe going to move slightly to the right something like this i think will look nice okay let's go ahead and click render i want just preview see how my basic terrain is looking and overall i think the modeling looking okay um, basic shape. So I want to create a path going from this area up. And this is what we're going to do. Start working on some texturing and creating path and other elements that can go from our house towards our camera. So we'll go to do this in, in the next tutorial.